Hello friends, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. <sighs> For me, it's a, kind of a lazy Saturday and I feel like doing a project. Well, that's a good thing because I've got a few projects. Um, one of them that's been bugging me is complicated and that's why I've been putting it off. <laughs> um, it's gonna require me a whole bunch of different steps and some of them I don't even know what they are so I'm going to take you guys with me uh sometimes you know when you think something's going to be complicated um you put it off for months or even years um you can find out that it's really not that complicated and you kind of you know oh, man and I put it off this long because of what <laughs> so I'm going to bring you with me. Hopefully it turns out to be not as complicated or hopefully you guys learned something cool. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot to tell you what it is. <laughs> I forgot to tell you what my project is. All right, so you see this window behind me? It's got a little, let's see, right there, that, that line right there. It's a... Uh, it's a rubber covered uh, wire that's holding my blind up inside of the valance over there. This one, not so much. It's not, it's not uh, staying. The wires died basically. The, the wire right here, that thing has died. And so, you know, the blinds keep falling. So it's time. Here we go. Okay, so the first step is, here's the balance, and I'm going to go up underneath, and I'm going to get, uh, undo that screw, and this screw right here, and take the entire thing down, because the thing holding the blinds is attached to that. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, I undid the screws and the thing is still sitting up on the little brackets but uh, and then just as I turned the video back on it fell down so okay so there it is got to tell you to unscrew these guys where the ends go this one's already excuse my clutter this one's already off been off for a long time so I'm going to unscrew this one. Okay, so the next part, I've got it laying on my bed now. Um, next part, I have to take these screws out. Let's see, one and two. Because I have to get the string out from inside here. Oh boy, fun times. So the string runs through here once or twice and through here twice. And then they come out each end here and here. And there's a hole there for one end and a hole here. You'll see what that looks like in a minute. All right, so one of the things you have to do is remove the cap, and I already started it, so it wouldn't be a hassle. Um, and <clears throat> because I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna be removing the entire string. So there's another one at the other end, but I'm gonna use that, <clears throat> just hold the other end to slide this sheath off. All right. Whoop. Okay, and the string caught the camera. That was fun. So there's the sheath to the bottom. Set that over there. And we're gonna end up unstringing this whole thing and then threading it back through. Oh, not excited. Just not excited. All right, so I'm gonna string the other end. I mean, uh, unscrew the other end. All right, now I'm taking the sheath off of the other metal part. Okay, now I see. 
string goes all the way across here with a spring attached to a spring. Oh dear. Okay, this is really getting interesting now. Oh my gosh. So, huh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this now because this string is clamped in. Let me show you. The string is clamped into these things attached to the spring, you see. Ah. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. No. Just got interesting. <laughs> crazy. I'll think about this. So I've decided I'm going to clip the string um, about, oh, I don't know, six inches out on each side of this apparatus, if you will, these clamps. And then I'm going to splice in the new um, string uh, at this point here. And then I'll center it because this will stay put at least that's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to stay put, and I'll just make that spring be right in the middle of the balance instead of at the end where it was before. It was at the end before because it was broken. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the way I spliced in my ends was I made a loop in this fraying string right here, um, and then... I brought the old string into the loop and tied a knot there with a little extra on each end. I did it to both of them. So hopefully that'll hold. I checked it, um, checked it for strength and make sure it wasn't going to come undone as time goes by. But, you know, time hasn't gone by, so maybe that'll be a problem. I hope not. I'm going to be optimistic. So the next step um, is to thread it back through. Oh, I was going to show you these little holes. It has to go through these little tiny holes right here. See that? It's got to go through several of them. Each pleat has a set of holes. And then it's got to go up through the holes in the actual bracket thingy. Oh my goodness. Is my camera going to fall over on me now? Don't do it. All right. So what I did is I tied up one end uh, with a small piece of tape. So it's kind of like a shoelace. <clears throat> I'm going to do it to this one too. See how it's already fraying at the top. All right. So this is how I do it. Start it with the fray inside the tape. Which reminds me of a silly joke. Ha <laughs> ha. I have to do it. I hope I can say it right. A rope goes into a bar and asks for a drink. The bartender says, no, no, no. We don't serve ropes here, man. Okay. So he goes out, goes into the parking lot, and he ties himself up and tossles his hair a little bit. Goes back in. The guy says, hey, aren't you that rope that was just in here asking for a drink? And he says, nope, I'm afraid not. But do yeah, that's it. All that so I could get that um, shoelace end on there. And now I'm threading uh, into the holes. The first one's kind of hard, but the because um, I have to separate the pleats. But the remaining pleats, I can just put them together and go through two holes at the same time until I have them all, all done. I'm going to pause the video until I get all these strung on both sides. Unfortunately, the next step is I have to completely uh, reassemble the thing to make sure it's going to work and that my string is long enough. But there's the string all in there on each side. It turned out I didn't have to do one pleat at a time. I folded like five or six of them together and just shot it straight through thanks to wrapping up the ends of it like that. Um, so next, I have to put these little sheaths back on each end and then 
put their ends back in and all that good stuff. And then I have to remount the blinds um, into, um, into this valance. Remember there were two screws here and here. So we're gonna put that back up in there, hopefully uh, the right way. Meh. Oh, you know what I didn't do? <gasps> Shoot. The string has to come through the end. Ooh. All right, I have to think about. Oh, no, it doesn't go through the end on the top. It goes through the end on the bottom. That's, we're good. We're good. We're good. Whew. All right. That one doesn't have screw holes. This one has the screw holes. Um, this end cap doesn't have hole. I need another end cap. I think the supervisor may have taken off with some of my parts. Oh my gosh, what? Yeah, all right, pausing again. All right, so I'm gonna need uh, glasses and a light. So I'll use my job force here to see where I'm going. Oh yeah, well, that's hard to see because the fabric done covered the hole. Yikes. All right, so how close to centered am I? Mm. Move it over just a hair. Looks like the hole's right there. I see it. All right. This screw can go down here like, oh, you know what? Let's just put it in. Put the screw into the uh, blind end. We're coming out the other end. Yeah. Okay, good. And the cap is trying to pop off here. Ugh. What are you doing? It was hard to get off. Maybe it's going to be hard to get back on, too. Mm. Okay. That was easier. So maybe I had it upside down. All right. Here we go. So it's really close to um the corner here so i have to like yeah that's probably where it's supposed to go fix the ratchet the right way oh well not gonna be easy oh no i'm pausing so i got it screwed into the valance now I'm going to test it. So if these if these ends right here and I'm matching one at the end that you can't see, if uh everything's working right um and everything's tight, oh, I don't know how I'm going to test that. Put a foot down here on this one, put a hand down on this one. Uh if everything works right and it's nice and tight this should travel without the string moving and it will stay yep oh yeah it's working now the big test is securing it um well i'm going to put it back away where it belongs and then i'm going to secure the ends to the wall where the little nuts are that that's where the little nuts go there's another one on the other side. All right, so if you remember over here, um, we had these brackets up here. Um, these guys right here and right here. And the part that attaches there is fabric. And the little tiny holes right there and that other one is right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace in chalk where the little bracket thing goes I can't even see that one that's why I had the light put it um right there perfect now I can see this see so as long as I can see the outside of my chalk mark, 
on the other side of the brace, brass bracket, brace, whatever. I know I'm all right. I'm pretty close to where the holes will match up. And there's the supervisor. Thank you, Kelly. Here's, I got it put into place. I had to um, tie a string around, you know, here and at the other end because the blinds kept flopping around. The string was loose, so it was, you know, trying to come unstrung. Uh, excuse the neighbor's backyard and the old Winnebago that's been sitting there for years. <laughs> uh, it's sad. Okay, so anyway, the brace, the braces are all screwed down in there. Worked out great with the chalk marks. And now, as you can see, there's nothing holding my blind up in there. I can pull it part way down and it works. It looks crooked, but it's not. Pull all the way down. All the way down to there. Done. Ta-da! All right. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. It was fun and it was definitely an adventure um, putting those back up. It's not impossible. If you're a female RVer on your own or you're a guy that's never done any of your own work, um, you can see by the fact that this was my first time ever doing that, you know, that you can do whatever you need to do as long as it's not involving anything dangerous like electricity or propane or something. Certain things I just won't touch um, unless I can, sh you know, keep the, shut away the danger somehow. All right. So like and subscribe down below. Thanks a bunch. Have a good rest of your day.